Hey guys, what is up? Brian here with another episode of Road to Max Town Hall Level 9. I believe this is episode number 7, and we're going to be doing some raids. Um, we've done a couple upgrades to the base since the last episode. I'll show you guys that after this attack. But starting this one off, this guy has a thousand dark elixir and I want it. So I'm using my normal attack strategy of the barbarians and the goblins. I had witches here because I was going to donate them to clan mates, but they didn't need them. So I just took them into battle. And uh, I'm kind of glad because using all these witches to donate is probably not a good way to spend my dark elixir. So I'm going to save that. Use those witches. Probably not produce any more on this account for a while because I do want to get those heroes up. Um, but as you guys can see here, I'm going to put down a ton of goblins. And those goblins are just going to go and rip through that wall. Um, I took out the mortar and the wizard towers over here um, just so we could be safe and get it. All right, we are on to that dark elixir storage. We're going to be getting tons of dark elixir. I love it. And uh, yeah, this attack just went pretty easy. Um, no problems here. Didn't really have a struggle. Once you have those lightning spells and you can take out those splash defenses, you're going to be pretty good with um, level 5 goblins and level 6 barbarians to pretty much overpower any base that isn't have, uh, doesn't have level 8 walls. Even level 7 walls with higher level defenses can be a struggle. So easy take there. Glad we did it. Thousand Dark Elixir. Awesome. Uh, but yeah, in the last episode, guys, I did not have this mortar. I'm about to show you guys up to where it's at. Um, as you can see, it is level 5 now. It was level 4 in the last video. And I have also upgraded a ton of walls. Let me show you guys the exact number. We were at 46 in the last video. And now we are up to 58. So we've gotten 12 walls. Still not the progress I would like to see. I think we could do a little bit better. Um given the time between the videos so I'll definitely be farming more in here try to get more walls done um, but yeah let's see what we can get done for the rest of this video all right so our queen is pretty close we need 25,000 dark elixir for that and uh, I think I want to get two or three more walls so let's see what we can do here all right so we got a town on level eight um, this base looks pretty good um, I just know once I take out those splash defenses right here, I think I can overpower this base. Even with these level 6 walls, like a lot of people would think this base looks intimidating. You're going to be okay as long as you can clear out the stuff down here. And as you can see, I got really lucky with my lightning spells being able to take out all um, of those mortars down there. Um, I didn't get the one on the very bottom, but I did get those two mortars and the wizard tower. So that was very good for us. So I'm going to go ahead and put down my barbarians. just want to clear out these buildings down here so I can just get my goblins to break through the wall. Um, like I said, guys, it's not worth it to bring wall breakers. A lot of you guys are going to be like, just bring wall breakers. And I don't bring them because they do cost a lot of elixir. That it adds up. If you bring 10, that's 35,000 elixir. That is a lot. It cuts away from your profit from what you're trying to get. So I don't bring them. Um, you can if you want to. It's just not my style. So watch here. Um, the bar putting down the barbarians to try to distract the defenses. And now I'm going to start flooding in the goblins to overtake this base. It's giving me a little bit of issues when I was clicking down on it. Um, but we do get them in there. As you can see, they're through that first layer of walls. And uh, they're going to break through that second one any second now. I, I got my king pumped up. He's also awesome to break through walls. Once he is uh, activated ability, he just goes on a rampage. And as you guys can see here, these goblins are just going to keep running in there. Even with the mortar and the wizard tower shooting at them, we're still going to have some success here. And uh, we're going to clean that base up right there and get all of the loot from it. So good attack there. Um, I'll take that. I'm gonna get any extra dark elixir I can by taking out this. Uh oh, the king distracted those troops. That's not good. So, not gonna get any more. He also had a dragon in the clan castle. I'm not sure what his clan castle was doing up there. But good raid. 240,000 gold. I'll take that any day. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And right now we do have enough for our archer queen, guys. As you can see, we did an attack in between here. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and do another one. This is a nice raid here. The reason I want to attack this base is it kind of looks like it's challenging me to attack it. It's like, come and take this loot if you can. i um, not sure about this guy's base design though, so I'm just going to spam down. Um, he's got a lot of high level defenses, however his expos aren't loaded, so I was like, alright, let's take advantage of it and get this elixir. Not very much dark elixir either, but even then, it's still going to be free dark elixir that we can take from this guy's base. So I'm just going to put down my barbarians. He does have his trap still. My archer queen is down. My king is still good. Um, as you can see, some of my goblins getting blown up by the uh, spring traps there. That's not good. They're going to puncture through that wall, and then they're just going to eat apart this base in a second. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to keep spamming down my troops. Oh, my gosh, there's another trap. And, uh, yeah, just overrun this base pretty easily. Get all the loot from it. We're looking good. Looking like we can afford those three walls to finish off our ring around our Teslas. So that is going to be an awesome benefit to this attack for us. And, yeah, completely clear out this base. So I'll take that any day. 
Give me the free loots. Um, but yeah, guys, so like I said, I'm going to be doing some more videos on my Town Hall level 9. Um, my Town Hall level 10, I am farming really, really hard on. And I really want to get my heroes up without gemming the rest of the way. So I'm going to try my best to do that. All right, and let's finish up with this attack. As you can see, we got the one star. I'm going to get all the loot from the base. There's going to be 936 left from the town hall. We're not going to take that. Not going to worry about that. Take the one star. Get our 360 dark elixir and 176,000 elixir. And that's going to give us enough to go ahead and get our three walls to finish up our little triangle there. As you guys can see on the top right of my base too, I did finish up about eight or nine level seven walls that I left. So we have no more level seven walls. Awesome. And uh, yeah, that's going to be our base completely done here. Uh, we're going to keep working on it as much as I can. Um, that's all for today, though. I hope you guys enjoyed our upgrades that we did today. We got the Archer Queen going to three, and we got the three walls. Um, walls are going to be the grindiest part, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comments down below. Let's see if we can get 500 likes, and you guys like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy.